Okay there buddy, welcome back to more of Mario and Luigi Bowser and Side Story 3DS walkthrough. So yeah, we're back again and I kinda saw a little bit of spike kinda start the new walkthrough. I'm kinda not excited to record this game that much that you know maybe you how you guys think. Probably because I still gonna try to complete um Pokemon Umbo Ruby and Soul Silver and you know try to get some more up out of the sun content. So yeah, I'm kinda sorry a little bit, but it just I suppose I kind of want to clear something first after all. <laughs> yeah, just something. Sorry for rambling for a little bit there. So yeah, we actually, you know, last time we're getting inhaled by Bowser and kind of getting lost inside his body. Right now we're actually in his trash pit. <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly the body part of that is. Don't want to ask, man. All right, so yep, we actually like um le we we just left off from there because I kind of did the same um you know right over there off camera, but I decided to come here you know kind like just all without to losing any of the time. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of all I'm thinking of right now. So let's go for a new a segment and I am such a moron. Never thought I I see the save um segment over there. Really, I should have maybe just go right over there and save here in the last video. <laughs> Seriously, I'm feel like a total idiot right now. But uh, I mean, whatever then. But uh, let's just um, level up Luigi one level a little bit. Wouldn't be a bad idea. So let's do this then. And time for Luigi to go for the first try. Yeah, really cool. All right. So yeah, those enemies just level one. I mean, duh, it's the first place. So definitely gonna get in level one treatment, of course. And wow, one hit KO. That's nice. Wow, don't we actually need to not attack to you apparently? Oh hey, we get some rare item by the way. Nice. Also, you love now Luigi? Yes you are, so here it is. Alright, so Luigi finally get low up and I think as a Luigi character he kinda excel more on I would say the defense and stat from what I see. I didn't remember what the last time I keep Mario though for um Demon Jake. But yeah. Let's see which um stat boost I want to give to Luigi. Let's check it out. Um, let me think a little bit. Um, I think I kind of want him to be a tank though. I mean, for Mario, I actually plan for power and speed. Luigi, maybe he can be defended stats where the HP and BP are um, middle point. Um, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I just thinking which um contribute I want to give to Luigi. I, I guess I'm defend first. Why not? Eh, two is all right. I can see four, but I guess I'm too um. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of too um impatient for not waiting to four. Eh, it's all right then. Okay, new. Well, I guess it is why I kind of want to play low level run. I may gonna, you know, make sure um, we're not getting too old level, I believe. I guess maybe level two, 3. Um, I kind of maybe think level 3 is kind of a good po point where um, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I believe level 3 may be the good point where um, we're going to not sadly gonna level up further. I'm not entirely sure what it means though, but I suppose. We'll see how it go, but anyway, <laughs> gotta prolong battle a little bit longer because I'm being an idiot, I suppose. Anyway, okay, at least the level road is kind of a bit slower, so that's all right. Okay, so anyway, we got some item. Oh, my bad. Oh, we got one mushroom. Um, the revive item. All right then, and we're still gonna explore around there. Um, surely. Let's see here. Um, aha, I found an item, of course, and we got a rookie boots. So anyway, we're gonna go to the main menu, I mean the star menu, what should I say again? So, in case you guys know, there is um, the item that we are gonna get, which is um, really, really gonna be interesting. So anyway, we actually got in, um, you know, Mario Luigi always start with the binware, and you know, just get any, um, kind of like we say, any additional gear. But here's the thing though, in the original game, or at least the 2DS game, that for more I remember, um, you only get one equipment um, slot. I mean, only one um, equipment start when you actually start off. So in other words, that, that you kind of like they're only gonna can only wear those overalls. But in the remake, um, yeah, in case you guys know, in the remake, you actually like um, getting more thing to um, kind of like you start off with three equipment. I like um, you need to get, get reach to a certain rank on the original game in order to get um, you know kind of like additional gear um, slot. So in other words, um, yeah, kind of like you know, I mean, the remake kind of really you know influential from Paper Jam and Dream Team from from what I see. So I guess it's kind of good thing. So you can kind of like equipment anytime anything you like. And also fun fact though that um, the overall wear are kind of separate from the old, I mean from the other wear. So in other words, that um, yeah, kind of like 
sorry, well, I'm still thinking what should I say. So now we're kind of like, in the original game, you kind of want to get, um, you know, like some other overalls. Um, kind of like, I mean, in, in, sorry, <laughs> don't re I'm kind of bad at explaining, it's kind of like a bad habit of mine. So in the original game, in the DS game, that, um, you kind of want to getting the one that I already, um, you know, got it earlier, the rookie, I, I would say the rookie boots, you kind of need to sacrifice do um, this equipment slot in, in order to, um, yeah, kind of like equipment that item, but in this game here now, Simbi actually got three slot from the, um, the from the beginning, you can actually, um, getting the, the rookie boots in, um, into the first slot right over there, which is kind of nice, or you can actually just, <laughs> um, equip into the other slot, so yeah, that's kind of really, really cool, so yeah, let's just, um, equipment to this to Mario right now, I'm actually planning to build Mario to be a powerhouse and, you know, quite speedy, Luigi, I plan to be a bit of a wall and defense, and maybe some good stats, um, stats, so yeah, that's gonna be how I'm gonna be building the team, um, after all, so I think before that, I'm gonna shake the block count a little bit, I mean, why not? So there's actually two um, blocks left in Trash Pit area, which means um, we're almost finishing this area, which is um, really, really excited. Don't you agree? <laughs> okay. Talk about um, Prime Essay. Oh yeah, and speaking of which, the, um, the records um, area there, you can actually tell um, the game kind of like, what do you say again? Kind of, you know, tallying the count at um, how many times you actually um, kind of like trigger the battle, how many enemies you defeat, and how many times you actually fled out of battle. Right now I'm kind of on, on, right now I'm actually on the zero battle because I'm actually gonna get more of those, um, you know, kind of like the battle fled number up <laughs> more in the later game because apparently I may gonna force myself to run out of battle in order to make sure the Mount and Luigi wasn't get all level. Also you get some excellent rating, how many times you get, and the badge. We'll talk about that later when we got one. So, yeah, we actually sit on the menu for quite a while now, so hope it's alright. So, anyway then. So, let's continue exploring. It's mean that we're almost gonna done this area too, which is gonna be really, really thing. I'm not sure when this part gonna be, um, what should I say, shorter or longer, but I will see. And, oh, oh shoot, I kind of didn't read that one, but that's alright. The running immigrant is back, I come very knowledge and globbent. So, while it's open this gap, hmm, what's the globbent to do? While you move it, this circle pad, press Y to jump the same leash time and lie with gravity. <laughs> Still remember the, the human game is really, really good. This is the way of all globbing. Do this and you will grow. Three must that side. Oh, hairy one. Go, be globbing. Mm, kind of not sure that Golden kind of have Masado, but I kind of like already spoil you guys, but in this game, I believe this one actually adding on the remake, it, the Y button here, while you control and Mono Luigi, you can actually go for having both Mono and Luigi jump in the same time. I kind of show that in, maybe, I'm not really sure, I don't think I show in the first part, but I guess I maybe already show in the second part. But yeah, I kind of like the single jump, you can just go with Mon Luigi. In the original game, you, in order to get the bottom jump, you kind of have no choice but to press NB um, in the same time together. Where in this game, it's really, really convenient. I love the Y button that they actually did for that one. So, yeah, really nice. And oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Marley getting <laughs> sucked in by those thing. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, still remember that time one of them kind of get stuck, the other one kind of get dragged down too from, you know, kind of like the, the thing. But hey, I mean, that's kind of like a thing. All right, so let's go next area. And oh, okay, there, this one is actually go all the way up here. I'm not sure we actually almost finished up this trash pit though. I mean, the first dungeon on Bowser's body is kind of like a, um, you know, long limiting road from what I, you guys see it here. So yeah, just gonna be pretty, pretty interesting indeed. Yeah, pretty is. So here we are. So right now we actually gonna need to press um, A and B. Call like... <laughs> You know, thing magic there, not really sure what I say, but okay, be careful though, if you actually wait too long. Whoopsie. <laughs> Sorry, my nose kinda get itching, alright? Excuse me for just accidentally um, stopping there, but yeah. Just show you guys a little bit, if you wait too long, you gonna fall down there. So, better jump. <laughs> better keep jumping. Okay, we'll do it right this time, guys. <laughs> the meantime, I'm gonna stall in the part, alright? Just saying. Oh, okay, so, yeah, after we actually can go right here. You can actually go back there, I believe, but anyway, we'll check on that later. Okay. So, in the area here, this is not a safe point. Um, oh. Okay. I think we're gonna learn something new right now. Okay. Wow, look like bouncing here, all kind of junk, huh? Now some, some of it turned out to be stuff we can use. Maybe in this wooden crate, if we could break it open. 
Oh, it seems as she got an idea right here. Not sure what's going on here. So we're also getting this box here. Unfortunately, we cannot jump through it because Monoluigi can only defeat Brock by using the like using the hand, not the feet. So that's still a problem though. By the way, let's check in this globe in a little bit. Some comment in a little bit. Save it quite. Oh, oh, you're the face. Save point. Okay. Okay then. And I'll get it out later. So anyway, guys. So next stop here is gonna be the. Um, right now we're actually getting a lot of collectibles there, which mean, um, yeah, this one here, we're gonna have to collect more stuff, and holy shit, look at those things right over there, they have a lot of them, which mean we're we'll probably getting something new right here, so let's check it out what exactly it is. So we got a charge piece, um, attack piece, so I get piece number one. So after, you know, you're just happy to collect this one, you're getting this thing coming up. Oh, is that an attack piece? So Basel Swallow some of those as well, um, yeah, I suppose. Don't know how... Don't want to like, question the log logic of this universe though. Hmm, do you know about them attack piece of flaming on that's from the bro's attack? If you collect all 10 of them in the attack piece, you'll be able to use that bro attack. What's the bro attack? Well, I'll tell you later. If there's one attack piece here, I'm willing to bet that there's an other in here nearby. Let's find him. Okay, so this is gonna be like a bit bad in your mind. We're actually gonna get it some attack piece. I'm gonna show you guys what exactly piece um are owing up. And also we actually go to the recording um segment here. They actually got the new um kind of like new segment here, it's called attack piece. So you can actually get in the trash pieces. <laughs> wow, apparently they just not go with trash pit pieces like the original game. So yeah, you can see that on the top screen that they actually like um you know showing with piece that we're gonna need to need in upcoming. So yeah, let's check it out. So I know it's gonna be sound dumb, but I'm probably gonna do it all the time. Um, we're actually gonna try to get some attack piece. I know it's kind of dumb idea, but I oh, guess it's all right. Oh, yeah, we got some syrup jar. So we only get mushroom for the time, first time, but not sure such a mean. But we'll get to that later, I suppose. So yeah, we're getting level two. I mean, the number two of the trash pit. And here we are. Um, I've got to do it real quick, though. I, I mean, <laughs> kind of know that when I'm eating those things, like I need to switch top and bottom screen. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but you know what? I guess I kind of need to, you know, take some more time to edit something after all. So anyway, we actually got new pieces coming after all. Because maybe a lot of players kind of not exactly, um, you know, trying to show the complete set of, of it. So I might as well just show you guys that right now for, you know, kind of like what piece kind of like, what of these pieces are actually from what segment right over there. <laughs> uh, wow, I kind of love just down my own hole on in terms I'm gonna eat those video I believe <laughs> but uh, it's all right anyway there's um the one actually go right to the um top right so you can actually see the hint which um the attack is gonna go we kind of see that Mario kind of have some kicking animation there what exactly it mean but how to find out um after we're getting a piece level four yeah <laughs> Okay, I kind of know that my thumb kind of blocking the bounce here a little bit because I kind of need to, you know, pressing the um the start button right over there. So hey, so anyway, we see the Mario. We need to press A and that one from B, and see Mario kind of like doing some kick animation for something. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, yeah. So let's check in this block is. What's that? It do. All right, we're getting piece number five. Um, yeah, five to go, apparently. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I guess, the, in the later dungeon, apparently, the first dungeon kind of all about show guy, you're gonna get some new, um, thing for an attack piece on the trash pit. So, they kind of, like, just group all them together right over there. I mean, I know that in the later dungeon, they are gonna be, like, more separated, so, by the time I'm gonna try eating this thing, um, thing magic here, I'm gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be much more breathable, I believe. Eh, I mean, just me, alright? So, anyway, let's keep on going. And I guess this time, this time I'll let Luigi to get in a piece. So yeah, either my Luigi can also work on you know like bumping to those blocks. So yeah, just I mean long story short there. All right, and yeah, we're actually getting to the same thing where Luigi also do the kick animation right over there. So what exactly kick? I'm really really don't not exactly remember on that one. But so let's just keep going. So you got three more pieces on that area. So, I'll let Luigi doing the top. <laughs> okay. Once again, I mean, I don't think I see any um, kind of like player kind of did this before. I'm probably, I'm the only one who did this, but um, not so sad getting something new, but yeah. I mean, I kind of admitted I did that too when I play 
Um, what should I say again? When, when I actually play on my original game, so yeah, it's kind of like been, I think around six years now since I played the original DS game walkthrough, so yeah, I, I'm maybe gonna need to pay homage on, on what I did last time too, alright? <laughs> okay then. So, yeah. So, I'm, I don't think we kind of see, and I kind of see what a sadly more Luigi kick here, but, um, it's kind of unrealistic though they showed a Goomba over there because, spoiler alert guy, we're not gonna encounter any Goomba enemy in this game. Not sure why they decided to show that one, but I believe that the attack piece, I'm not sure they actually like, I noticed they kind of altered some little stuff in, um, from the original game. Like, I think kind of like the record one kind of like just add for that one, I didn't remember what side it is. And yep, you cannot actually proceed until you actually get all the hack pieces in this room. So in other words, you kind of can speed run on this one. I mean, you, you can totally go much faster if you're just not doing what I did earlier, but I know man, just I'm gonna do whatever doing this work. Anyway, and I think I kind of see it's a shell. And it's hitting the enemy that Mario Luigi will never encounter for some reason. Why the remake they kind of ruined this one a little bit. Eh? I guess kind of like something, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the last one. Luigi, do the honor. Alright, so we're finally getting all the trash pit pieces. So, finally getting a broke tag. So, in case you're remembering, we actually seen the. Um, what should I say again? Um, I'm still thinking. So yeah, we'll be seeing the, we get a bro point that actually we're, we're getting on something. And oh, you got the attack pieces. Awesome, now we can use the bro attack. Yeah, Miss Obvious, all right? Bro attack are powerful offensive battle moves. If you get good on using them, you'll dominate battle. So after you complete everything, we are actually go right to there. And yes, you find a locking green shell. So yeah, we can finally get green shells. And you can also shake, shake the demo show, which is kind of nice. You know what? Because I'm gonna do this, because apparently the game here does tell you what is that it did for that one. So this one is actually kind of simple. Why don't you take turn King Green and Shell using A and B? The green shell speed up the kicking is dependent on the timing of your button press. So in this game, there they kind of altering some of the roll attack from the original game. And I'm gonna show only the demo. I mean, practice I'll definitely show you guys on when I'm actually gonna go to the battle. So I'll show you guys just the gist of it. All right. So yeah. So here it is. So it's just, you know, simple, just like the original, but when it's go graded. So they actually like, um, in case you guys see the demo right over there, and also you can keep um, seeing the demo anytime you like, but if you see some different from the original game and, and the remake, the original game you just, um, I mean, kick back and forth around 10 times until you get excellent. But in the original, but in the remake, um, yeah, the original game you're kicking back and forth around 10 times from what I remember. But on the remake, after I actually go to the great, um, you know, the great segment over there, the game kind of, um, you know, after the attack to the like of Dream Team and Paper Jam, you guys remember there is also similar attack from those games. Where after they go to the graded, we see it actually like, um, you know, either Mario or Luigi, depending on whoever using this item, we're actually gonna kick um a bit slower and then do a little bit of final shot for whoever um, you know, kind like start using the bro attack though. So I kind of like this one. This alteration though, this kind of really cool. I mean, if I remember, like um, last time I'm trying to go back and forth, um, so much is kind of you know weird. So anyway, so here we go. Um, yeah, I'll definitely try to get to find a way to edit those things later. Into worry, all right? <laughs> okay. So and, oh, speaking of the devil, perfect timing. All right, you two, giving a taste of the bro attack. Okay, because you guys seeing the um, you know how Amy how look like. Um, you cannot use a jump attack though because it's actually getting blocked. So yeah, I'm on Luigi. Now you can use the bro attack formed by those attack pieces. Want me to explain how you use that bro attack? And you're not sure. Alright then, first up to the bro attack command block. So anyway, we're actually getting a new command block right here. We got a bro attack. So yeah, we can actually change the attack. Um, you can kick shield back and forth. Um, yes, it's NB and okay. It's ABAB. Yes, and get this, you can check out the demo. Let me know I showed that guys to you already. So yeah. Also this one kinda new though. Is this one kinda like transfer from the Superstar Saga remake? You can actually um change the difficulty between normal and easy. Easy, apparently easy really. Um maybe I'll show guys that one right now because I'm not gonna show the easy ability, um, you know, the the um easy mode on this one anymore. So I'm also show you guys how it worked though. So yeah. Okay then. I'm not entirely sure what exactly you do, but I remember um, maybe they kind of make sure you're actually getting much easier thing and 
Okay, so yes, we kind of know that. You don't have enough, so you need to use this. Um, yeah, you, yeah, in case you guys know you need to get more money to use this thing. And that's all. Oh shit, let me do that. So yeah, in case you guys seen, don't jump type doesn't work there. And also we get a new guide. So, must well share the one first. You know me, I'm really gonna distract easily. Don't judge me. So we're getting the setup attribute here, so we're gonna checking the setup star menu screen. And yes, something like that. And yeah, they're gonna talk about that, even though I showed them one already from the level up segment there. So yeah. And we get a target card target thing. Um so yeah, the, the enemy sometimes show and okay, there is the accessibility here, and yeah, this one come from for paper jam because remember they kinda straight up told you um that which one they're gonna um Kind of like, just straight up told you where excited are, I mean, they kind of like, you don't need to kind of like getting hit after all off, um, you know, thing which there. So yeah, you need to start up on, on, you know, hitting this thing, and I'll say, see the attack mode here, um, yeah, you can go with the easy attack, and yeah, you climb more BP, but you see easily to see time, and so yeah, that's, um, one thing here. Um, to be fair, I kind of like play all it uh, much already, I was just show guy that one here a little bit. Right now, from now on, I'm gonna only go normal attack mode for, from now on because, um, yeah, I'm really, really play that a lot of times, so yeah. Alright, yeah, cause like, they, I'll do some, those, um, you know, theme music from, um, Dream Team and Paper Jam for me, in case, in case you guys remember, so yeah, I just, um, strap to a guy right now, and are you knock out yet, really? Okay, I guess we actually done it. Alright. Go for it! Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Don't need to worry. And okay, we get um, or just, I mean, more setup job for this. All right, and here we go. More spin point. Probably, I mean, don't need to worry. We will reach about too soon, right? Our right, pass finally unlocked it. Yes, and after, uh, but not only that, we're going to get another attack. Um, you know how to attack, uh, um, afterward right out of the way. So you don't, want Mario. So <laughs> what's going on here? Look at your feed, you two. <laughs> and yep. So we're finally getting a hammer. So yeah, you actually get hammer really early in the game. Really, really nice. I bet you could break all kind of things with those hammers. Give it a try anyway, and remember you can always talk to me when you need help. Anyway, you can talk to Star right anyway. So yep, again you can you can switch from either L and R on hammer and then if you press A you can swing the hammer. But you need to not talk solo yet. So yep, um, yeah, I kind of like an all button, kind of worded like command, um, you know, thing that like, to change how you're gonna use. So anyway, so Mario can use the ammo to um, break those blocks. So I mean those blocks. So yeah, it's not gonna be useful all all over the places. Try it out. Oh, and went ahead and added this time to your guide. Let's open up the star menu in case you want to check, which I'll probably maybe check that one later. I mean, to be fair, I probably don't need to. Use that after all, but I kind of want to show guy that one here a little bit would be a bad idea. And you want to go up, you can use this one, but why would you go? So yeah. Oh, this one doesn't actually do, but okay then. So seems that there is um some device coming up there, and I'm sure no one to ask Bowser's body how it works. So anyway, we're seeing this thing that can actually use, use the hammer to slam with, just using it. Yeah. Oh, what is what is that you gonna do? It's roaming, and okay then. Cannot exactly attack after all. Sadly, Luigi cannot use the hammer action just to normally do using those. But Luigi could get to do for the hammer later for sure. But anyway, what side it is then? Uh oh, enemy again. And now it's having spike. Unlike the one we just faced a bit earlier. And what now? Mario. If you stop on this guy's spike, it, it will hurt. I'm serious. Jumping, it would, it would be really bad. Instead, what else you do is use a hammer. Want to hear how you use it? Ah, eh, sure. Okay, first use the hammer. Someone's gonna be getting the hammer, you know, thing magic here. And oh, now it's level two. Okay then. So we somehow we can, and then press the button to swing. So I think kind of like this is the really first game that apparently the hammer attack kind of much easier to use um, than Partner in Time and the original Superstar Saga. That you know, I remember when the time I'm gonna try to do the hammer attack in Partner in Time is really a pain. But thank God this game and from now on on Modern G series. The hammer attack is really easier to use, so just like that. So yeah, I know, I mean this time you're getting much easier from So we can get more guy, which by the way, check it out right now. So check it out here, um, is there any more? Okay, hammer attack here. So say hammer, side enemy. Um, yeah, simple as that, and 
Oh, we get a base action here. Um, you guys should just want to see. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so let's do it again. Yeah, it's so easy and I love it. Okay. Oh, do you mean to go for the same time to me again? I did it again for some reason. It's alright. Okay. Once again, some deal on defense. So, yep, you can actually need to use the hammer to using the hammer. Ah, sure. Okay, defending. Yeah, you kind of need to press and then release. So, yeah. Also, you can use the mystery block if you kind of, you know, want to go for easy um, block. But this one I kind of know how to do. So, yeah, just like, oh, really? Yeah, like that. Easy as that, guys. Alright. Hammer down. Okay, one more. Eat hammer! Okay, one minute is kind of knocked out. Um, seriously, okay. Okay, now Luigi. There we go. Wow, two damage. Okay, that's cool. Nice to cut down, Luigi. And bam! Good job, Luigi. <laughs> and let's see how much spin point we get. He sent it a follow up. Uh, not yet, but uh, we'll get to we'll get to that. Don't need to worry. Yeah, don't need to worry. By the way, and we being you know more enemy coming up, and that actually um, unlocking the pipe, you can actually go up there. Luigi, get up! What are you doing? <laughs> and wahoo! Nice job. Okay, so moving on, and let's see here. And okay, seems to be almost um reaching to the end of the area. Also be careful though, in case you guys see those enemies, if you jump on them, you get damage instead. So if you kind of want to get the first strike time this one, using hammer. Come on, like that. Yeah, just um, show guy a little bit and okay, wow, actually getting some speed debuff on that one, okay. I didn't kind of see that one before by the way, this is kind of interesting. And this enemy is so weak, you can just use hammer to just slam down right on the, right the bat apparently. Do you feel remember that doing this can actually debuff speed though? I don't think Luigi Mario hold the hammer. Um, you know, just a specific hammer. It's kind of weird though, but uh, I guess it's alright. At least we're beating it easily, I, I know, right? <laughs> okay. And I think there's a lot block in, in the area, so we got the Siphon Clubs. And let's check it out right now and let you check. Um, did we get all the block in this area? Yes, we are. So in case you guys see in the bottom screen here, if you get all the block on, you know, on the said area, you can actually can see the metal just, um, you know, like, you know, <laughs> placing next to the area name, which is kind of really nice. All right, um, let's check the globs do. So let's check it out here. I'm gonna go with Luigi for that one instead and recover the uh, where BP around using hammer attack. Uh, it's all right. We're gonna get for the two um damage here. So let's give it to Luigi. So yeah, just um something. Okay, um I guess maybe I'll just end the video here. I'll probably gonna go to the next area in the next video anyway. Um maybe I'll tr um just low up our off camera a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna go, but yeah, I just probably, you know, don't want to waste time. I mean I guess I'm gonna try at least here the tree before I'm actually gonna moving on, so yeah. That's gonna be a drill here. So I guess I'm gonna ride this hard a bit for now. Um, next time we're actually gonna go to what is that it is, and you know probably I'm gonna have some B videos enemy up a little bit. I mean why not then, all right? <laughs> yeah, just something. So anyway, hope you enjoyed for another fun part in Boston Side Story. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys for more stuff here in next video, everybody.